Hey YouTube, the little guy here. So today I wanted to talk about the changes through Flow 3 I will be making to the competitive settings for Halo 5. And what I think the perfect HCL settings would look like because the settings that they've made right now are set in the right direction but I don't think they are all the way there that they need to be basically. If you are unaware of the newest changes that we'll be making for the HCS 2017 season there'll be a link in the description for the full article but I'm going to quickly just break them down and go over them right now. So the AR will be removed from your secondary slot leaving you with just a pistol in your primary and nothing in your secondary. You can still pick up a secondary weapon on the map though obviously because that would be dumb. The energy sword, splinter grenade and blip plasma rifle are all being removed from every map although I only think the sword is actually on truth which I think the reason I've taken that out is because flag running is like literally can cap the flag in like five seconds in truth just by running the sword the flag with the sword so yeah we're removing the sword and splinter grenades obviously it's like you're about to die pull down a splinter one one hit kill that's no skill like a plasma grenade all two other one hit kill but you've got to be precise with that the splinter grenade big ball of death which is easy to it kills it which is not good for competitive everything should be hard to get kills off unless it's obviously a power weapon which of your team's earned by having map control then you deserve some easy kills you know and the blip plasma rifle obviously that thing is just a beast <laughs> it literally takes down shield in two shots which is just too overpowered they need to yeah remove it <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing they can do to fix that and the motion tracker will be changed to the bears and improved ground which if you don't know it only tracks spartan abilities so it doesn't track just your normal walking like the normal way does just sprinting and stabilizing and thrusting I don't know if it does clamber and stuff and it's like I think yeah it'll just line but I don't know if it does clamber so I don't know look up uh, yeah so in my opinion these, these changes are really good and a big step in the right direction however there's still a lot that needs to go well not a lot you know, two more things, really. But, believe it or not, I'm actually not referring to the radar. I think this type of radar actually does belong in Halo 5, the way Halo 5 works. You know, not to help, like, players that have poor map awareness and don't know where enemies are going to spawn and stuff, but more to punish players who are constantly sprinting and thrusting around and just acting like Rambo. I mean, until Sprint is removed from Halo, or, you know, if Sprint is removed from Halo, because I don't know if it ever will be, uh, this type of radar definitely needs to exist so that when we tune into the Pro League, we don't end up watching American Ninja Warrior or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the changes that I would like to see gone is all of the automatic weapons. Well, not just the s assault rifle that you spawn with, but the storm rifle, the SMG. They've already removed the brute plasma rifle, which is good. Suppressor needs to go, like, I don't even know if anyone uses suppressor because it's really bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know why anyone would pick it up over the assault rifle, but there you go. But, yeah, at the very, very least, keep the silence they are on the map. The, the Storm Rifle and SMG are far too strong. They need to get removed. I mean, automatic weapons should not have any place in competitive play. They're far too easy to use in close quarters. And in close waters, if you're going up against someone with a magnum, if they miss only one shot, the AR will win. So, and the AR, like I said, doesn't take a lot to get it because you've got a big reticle, well, bigger than the magnum, so you've got you've got room for error basically. In my opinion, it's a lot more entertaining and tense to watch a close quarters magnum fight than a close quarters AR fight. It just feels so much more tense and entertaining to watch. Okay, now the other thing that I'd like to see gone is the spawn charge. I want to see that completely removed from competitive play. It has so much range and a very overly strong lock-on. It also does more damage than a standard melee. It knocks the player back, throw, it's thrown off the aim. And I actually think, it, I don't, I'm not completely sure, but I think it tenses up the player's aim as well. I'm not sure though, so don't quote me on that. But yeah! To be honest, that's it. That's all I can think of, really. Two more changes to the HCS settings in Halo 5 could be a flawless competitive experience. I mean, of course, it all is just my opinion, so it's not 
bits they had set in stone. But if you have like different settings or you completely disagree with me, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll take a read at them and maybe you can pers persuade me otherwise or uh, get me to see why another thing should be removed for competitive. But if yeah, if you did agree with my points, uh, drop a like and subscribe. Uh, it's always greatly appreciated. You know, so yeah, let's try and get. I wouldn't really want Halo to be back where it was in its prime in Halo 3 in terms of competitive. I really think we can do it if we just get the right settings. But anyway, see you guys there.